Welcome to the clinical skills video for the arterial blood gas sampling from a radial artery. Prior to any clinical procedure on a patient, you must ensure that you have obtained verbal consent from the patient and explain the procedure thoroughly. You must then also ensure that you've thoroughly washed your hands using the 11 stage technique. Once your hands are thoroughly dried, you may start to prepare the equipment. You will require a heparinized syringe, a blue needle, a sharp spin, sterile gauze, non-sterile gloves and a skin preparation wipe which must be 2% chlorhexidine. You must ensure that you wear the appropriate personal protective equipment, so in this case non-sterile gloves and an apron. Prior to assembling your tray you must ensure that the tray has been thoroughly cleaned with the appropriate alcohol wipes and dried thoroughly prior to opening the packages. Prior to the procedure, you must perform the Allen's test. This involves asking the patient to make a fist, then occluding the radial and ulna artery for about 30 seconds. The hand is then opened and should appear blanched. Pressure is then released from the ulna artery and the colour should return to the hand within 5 to 15 seconds. If the colour returns as described, the Allen's test is considered normal. If the colour fails to return, the test is considered abnormal and we should not proceed with the ABG in this limb. Then prepare all your equipment, opening the gauze, placing the needle onto the ABG syringe, ensuring that the top of the syringe is not discarded as this will be needed later for processing the sample. Prior to cleaning the skin, you must locate the artery with the index and middle fingers of the non-dominant hand. Once you have identified the site for insertion, you may mark the area or keep a finger in situ above the insertion site whilst cleaning the site, so this then will mark the area. The skin must then be thoroughly cleaned using a chlorhexidine wipe or swab for 30 seconds and allowed to dry for 30 seconds. You must not repalpate the area that has then been cleaned. Insert the needle at 30 to 40 degrees at the point of maximum palpation and advance it slowly until arterial blood flushes back into the syringe. The syringe should then fill under arterial pressure and may need initial gentle aspiration. Once you have obtained at least 0.7 mils of sample, withdraw the needle smoothly whilst applying gauze swap with the non-dominant hand. Dispose of the sharp appropriately and put the cap back onto the ABG syringe ensuring it is filled to the line ready for sampling. Pressure must be exerted on the puncture site for at least five minutes after the sample. If the patient is able to, ask them to provide this pressure. If not, either yourself or another healthcare professional will need to apply the pressure while somebody else goes and takes the sample for being processed. Once five minutes of pressure has been exerted, check the wound and ensure that the patient is feeling okay and responding appropriate to the sample. For analysis, you will need a patient identifiable data, so ideally a patient label with the patient's date of birth, name and hospital number, the amount of oxygen that the patient is receiving, where the samples come from, so whether it's an ABG or VBG, and the temperature of the patient. In summary, ensure that you have prepared the patient and confirmed their identity. Wash your hands, assemble and prepare all equipment ensuring an aseptic non-touch technique. Perform the Allen's test, insert the needle 30 to 45 degrees, obtain at least 0.7 of a mil sample, dispose of all sharps and equipment safely, apply pressure on the site for at least 5 minutes, ensure you have the correct information to process the sample, so this includes patient identifiable data, temperature and their oxygen requirements providing appropriate aftercare advice to the patient and ensuring adequate documentation is completed and the results of the ABG are acted upon.